Hello and welcome to The Talk. I'm Lakshmi Karthanath. Today we're at the Research Council and to find out more about why we're here, we've got to meet the guest. And this is all about the Innovation Park, which is under construction, already winning the Climate Control Awards 2014 for the region, for the Middle East. And joining us, of course, is Dr. Abdul Baki Al Khaburi. And uh, you are the director for the Science and Technology Parks Department of the Research Council. Welcome to the talk. Thank you, Lakshman. Thank you for coming to the Research Council and for your interest in Innovation Park Muscat. Thank you, sir. This is very exciting because we're seeing the model of the Innovation Park Muscat. It's under construction, you've already won. First of all, introduce us, please, on the concept and what do you want to achieve from the science and technology parks? Well, the science and technology parks, uh, it's, it's a, uh, an infrastructure where the uh, innovators, the uh, knowledge creators mm -hmm. and the knowledge users are put together for them to harvest the knowledge which is being created by the research institutes, academic institutions with the private sector companies uh, uh, for for them to commercialize these knowledge-based uh, uh, products. So uh, in the science park in, 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 in Muscat, what we're trying to do, we're trying to attract the startups, basically uh, students, uh, graduates uh, who have done their master's degree, PhDs in certain uh, specializations that we will be focusing on. Um, uh, as well as the small and medium enterprises yeah. for them to come in uh, we will be able to support them uh, uh, in two ways basically by uh, helping them to develop their uh, their companies by linking them uh, with the national uh, regional and international stakeholders uh, who are working on the same specializations and by supporting them financially eventually to commercialize their products um, so that is one category of clients if you like that we would like to at uh, attract to the uh, to innovation park muscat on top of that we will have the um, four centers of excellence, research centers, who will be working on these specializations uh, in collaboration with the academic institutions. And we will have also a, uh, a research and development centers for multinational companies okay. in the same specialization. So, so they would be the investors? Exactly. So if you imagine, we, we, we will have startups, we will have SMEs, we have uh, uh, research institutes, and we have also big international companies sitting in the same place, doing the same, uh, speciali working the same specializations, uh, and that would create the knowledge and, 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 and the infrastructure to actually produce a, a, a knowledge-based economy. Dr. Khaburi is going to tell us how it's all going to be, and this is a fantastic model all set, and we should be seeing this uh, happening end of next year, 2015. Well, the, uh, we have about 400,000 square meters of land close to Sultan Qaboos University, and uh, we have actually uh, located the, uh, the park close to the best uh, university who are uh, um, uh, giving a, a postgraduate uh, uh, programs and masters and PhDs. So that is one of the uh, strategic locations. We are also close to COM, Knowledge Oasis Muscat, mm -hmm. and we are close by to the Arusail Industrial State. Okay. So that is why we have picked that place. The park will be developed in, uh, like I said, three phases. Phase one is basically, uh, it will be this one here what are the three main buildings. It's the main building, which is seven story buildings. Uh, and here we'll have the research council sitting in the top of this building. But then we will have about 4,000 square meters of incubation space for the startups and SMEs. We'll have the fabrication workshop. Mm -hmm. And the fabrication workshop is meant to be for prototyping purposes for the new companies. And we have the social center, which is a networking area for the uh, park uh, tenants. So that is that is phase one. We have a four uh, inst research institutes 
will be developed uh, in, in phase two. Mm -hmm. And these are in the four special specializations mm -hmm. that the park will be focusing on. And again, they are in the energy and renewable energy. They are in the food and biotechnology, uh, environment and water, and uh, yeah. finally on health. So these are the research in institutes. And here and the around the, uh, the park, we have about 10 big lots is meant to be for the uh, R&D centers, which is the research and development centers for multinational, international companies to come in. How have you been marketing the Innovation Park abroad? Uh, maybe uh, the oil and gas industry has already got a presence in Oman, but are you seeing an interest from totally international companies who have no presence so far in Oman, but are keen because of the facilities? It's, it is because of the facilities and because of the Oman strategic locations. Yes. Oman, we are actually very much, people are very much interested to come, invest and work in Oman because of so many factors that we are different in, 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 in Oman compared to our uh, um, neighbors in the, uh, in the region. There are a lot of, uh, uh, of interest. We are developing, this is what we call the hardware mm -hmm. part of the, uh, of the park. Mm -hmm. There are a software part of it where uh, we're putting incentives uh, f to attract foreign uh, investors. And uh, we are in the process of getting the government approvals into, uh, uh, for the uh, in incentive schemes that we will be able to uh, uh, promote the park on. Uh, and it's, uh, again, it is, it is under the process, and hopefully before the end of the year, we'll be able to, uh, uh, to have that done. Thank you so much, and wish you and the team all the best. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. You.